one year ago today that Linda Rogers died in a natural gas explosion at Dallas House. Today, the 12 year old was honored at a memorial service. Yona Gavino is live in the neighborhood, still affected by the tragedy. Yona? Matt, right behind me, broken boards and a huge pile of debris, all that's left of the house that exploded. And here in my hand, this is actually one of the tributes handed out during her memorial service today. There are pictures of her life numbered 1 through 12 for each year that she lived. On the one year anniversary of Linda Rogers' death, this church was filled with love. Many wore white shirts to remember her life. Her Sunday school teacher and cheerleading coach spoke about her humility and big heart. The Rogers family attorney shared their gratitude. This has lifted the family up in what would be an otherwise terrible situation. Earlier this week, the family shared their daughter's final moments, a self-made home video, as she got ready for a cheerleading competition. We sat down with her mother yesterday. I remember they say, I'm sorry. Michelita passed away. So this broke my heart. And I remember I was crazy. So I went run and run and say, no, Michelita, no. In the days before the explosion, two other homes on the same block where the Rogers lived caught fire. The family is suing Atmos after Dallas Fire Rescue blamed all three incidents on natural gas. Maria Rogers believes her daughter would still be alive if the gas company would have replaced the cast iron pipes in her neighborhood. The first thing I saw, I'm not get my daughter. The family wants the natural gas provider to improve safety in other parts of North Texas. One year later, Atmo says it's replaced 98 miles of pipes in that neighborhood. And Atmos also told us partially in a statement, we live in the same communities where we work. We are intensely dedicated to safety. Live in Dallas, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News.